what is up guys welcome back to TK's garage and today I got a little bit of a different info info I got a little bit of a different video for you guys today remember all of the talk about SRT being dead and we saw all the major news sites talking about it well it's true despite what you heard SRT as you know is a wrap more information came out today is two hours ago and it is currently 9 30 p.m on a Saturday okay uh, what does that mean it means this this is fresh hot hot off the press so while the SRT brand may not be dead technically run the intro <music> Hi guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage, the most savage automotive channel probably in all of YouTube. Smashing Trolls Moms since your dad left for cigarettes and never came home. Damn! Alright, now that I have your attention, let's get into the actual news today. The first thing I want to show you is some of the early rendering from well-known do you say renderist or artist? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Uh, artist render on what the redesign of the Dodge Challenger would be under Stellantis. We're going to get to why that is here. Mac, let's just get to that first. We'll get to the renders and stuff here in a few minutes, which you don't want to miss these. They look, I ain't going to lie, they kind of they kinda, they kinda look kind of sick. All right, but let's get into it. Look. SRT as you know it right now, despite whatever your favorite YouTube channel is telling you and all this other bullshit is a wrap. It's done. Okay. At the end of, and I don't even think it's going to be model year 2022. I think they're still going to be selling the 2021s like they're selling the 20s now in 21. I think they're going to be selling 2021s in 2022. And the V8 as you know it is a wrap. If you think it was like, oh, the Durango was a limited product run, no, no. They even have internal memos and stuff that was leaked today. Go check out Reddit. Google internal memos, FCA, Reddit, uh, Hellcat uh, Voyager, or Hellcat, what was it? Hell, yeah, it was Hellcat Voyager, Hellcat, whatever the other version of the Voyager is, that's a little higher end. Um Damn, I can't think of it. It's a caravan. They just, you know, they just put a different name on it. The Pacifica, all right? That they were, that was actually a consideration. When the demand for the Durango was crazy, they were like, why don't we make a, a minivan for soccer moms? Let's do it and put a Hellcat motor in it. Come on, man. Come on, son. No, in all serious, they were, they were seriously considering it. Somebody had just left the strip club in Miami, Miami and snorted a long line of something and uh, was dead serious about creating that product, just like they were the Durango. They were throwing, they were willing to throw a, Hell, a Hellcat motor in an Avenger. Listen, it's all, it's all on Reddit. You can Google it now. Someone's going to say, oh man, everything on Reddit isn't legit, TK. That could all be BS. Okay. I guess, I guess it could. I guess it could be like doctored and fake memos. Maybe. I mean, but then again, when we were talking about SRT being dead and initially put that out on Twitter and put it out on YouTube, people were like, TK, you know what you're talking about. You're crazy, man. French, the French would, you know, Peugeot or PSA, Stellantis would never do that. Da, 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 da. Oops. SRT's dead. Come on, man. Then you start seeing all the reports coming out. The memos are there. It's not like people that actually work at FCA when they heard this news, the engineers and stuff, they you don't think they went to social media and started telling? They was singing like 6 9 If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm about Takashi 6 9 They was out there like, yo, right here, they about to kill SRT. I'm telling everything. Yo, can I get a deal? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. No Rule 35 or 501 case for you, though. But we appreciate you telling. Anyways, so what does that mean? Um, after all kinds of public craziness, people losing their shit, 
Stellantis has revised their official standing on this, not twice, but three times. And now they're saying they're still going to put out SRT branded products. But the SRT branded products that you know today will not be what you see in the future. Think uh, Dodge Dart SRT4. Think, um, and, and not just that, they're, they're already starting it. They've already killed the Chrysler 300 in Australia, Europe, and I'm talking about the SRT version of the Chrysler 300 that we don't get here in America. That's gone. It's out the window. Bye, finito. Bye. Fairy dust. It doesn't exist. It's never landed. It is no matter. It's not on the element. So what about SRT vehicles here? Well, Stellantis is going to be not the coke-driven, muscle-powered, how much horsepower can we throw in a V8 car company anymore? Uh, and I'm talking about Dodge. And I'm talking about even Rams. They might have... 1500 might only be available with either an eco diesel or a v6 like twin turbo like ford like an eco boost that feeling you get when your best buddy puts his hand on your thigh and you feel your pecker head scrape against the zipper of your favorite pair of ripped jeans your butthole puckers that's the feeling of driving a ford truck i know i can't believe it but for those of you who can't believe it Believe it. It's a fact. The information is already out there. And Stellantis even solidified it today. That the days of the V8 engine, as far as they are concerned, are done. With other companies like GM saying, what was it, by 2036 or something, they're going to be all electric. Even revise their logo and all that other dumb crap. Well, looks like FCA slash PSA slash Stellantis is doing the th same thing. But it's not all bad news. It's not all bad news. Look at this. This thing right here, son, this thing right here, that's a bad looking piece of machinery right there. I'm very interested in it. We'll drop a couple different images and stuff of it up. But what do you guys think about SRT? Could SRT actually be a premier electrical or hybrid company because here's the thing not all hybrids suck i mean yeah your priuses are pretty eh, the leaf is uh but you have some out there like the karma was it the karma was kind of cool right um wasn't super fast but it wasn't slow either and then you had the bmw i8 i think that was like the king of hybrid cars and could SRT try to take over that I-8 mantle? Shout out to my dude E-Vapors on YouTube. Could it take over that mantle and make the Hellcat an electric car? I don't know. You saw the images. What do you think? Could they do it? I think they probably are. But they also said there's also stuff that was out there that they're talking about twin turboing a V6. And making that a Hellcat. Miss me with that bullshit. Anyways, guys, if you're seeing this video, it's because I was traveling. We had a, a, a car meet and other stuff that we had to get to and do uh, this last weekend. I'm sure you guys will see some video and stuff on that uh, coming up here in the future. And this news, like new information that just came out about what they were doing. And I got these renders and stuff that were put out. They're on the internet. You can find them. Uh, about a possible redesign for the Challenger. And you can actually see some of the... Peugeot kind of uh, influence on it, but I gotta be honest, it don't look bad. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys like this kind of news type of style video, also let me know because I'm thinking about taking one of my largest YouTube channels, well over 100,000 subscribers, this channel, not this one, but another channel, and turning it strictly automotive based and just doing daily news and kind of promoting channels like T Rose, um, you know, We Hustle Daily, uh, you know, Lucky's Wheels and Deals, 901 Trey, you know, Rail to Real, just a community in the car community that's not served by other automotive news channels and that's not taking a shot that's not me saying anything it's just 
I don't really see it outside of yeah. I see Free Smoke doing it now. Uh, shout out to Free Smoke, by the way. If you don't, if you haven't checked them out, just type in Free Smoke channel in the search bar right there and go subscribe. Um, I just see like there's a big gap and a need for underserved YouTubers in the automotive space, meaning not your Strad Man, Doug Demiro, Tyler over at Hoobie's Garage, Watch JR Go. Um, shout out to my dude Randy at, over at Auto Auction Rebuilds Weston. You know, like any of those large Street Speed 717, those larger YouTubers. Of course, they deserve to be covered in some of the stuff they, that they do. Like, it's cool to have like a one place to see the news for all your favorite YouTubers in that reign. But a lot of the other, you'd be surprised. Some of these other YouTubers that are sub 100,000 subscribers or even right over 100,000 subscribers have massive followings. And they're not just on YouTube. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below for that. You know, the air is starting to dry out and my nose is getting itchy. I know you guys think I'm in Miami, but I'm not. So <laughs> no comments about Miami, but, uh, also make sure y'all go follow if you're on TikTok. Make sure you guys go follow me on TikTok at TK's Garage. It's a good time. It's fun. We're having some fun over there. And um, it's just different. So for y'all that like all the carnage and the smash cars and the funny stuff, I'll be dropping a lot of just like the funny clips, the smash cars, and things like that over there. And we're about to break 50,000 in the first week over there. That's crazy. So with that said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll be back with a co-part win on Monday.